like meditation. Hey, what's going on, Ben? Well, Steve here, and as you were playing some more well, Strife, like it's been a while. It's so like they've released meditation. a bunch of new champions. I think they released like four, four or five new champions. There's a bunch of new champions out now. So I figured we'd go through and play some of them. Um, I think I'll go ahead and try and do some do videos on all of them. Um, and kind of backtrack through them all and whatnot. But this is the latest released champion, Ooh, Aya. She's pretty much like an AoE mage uh, with a little bit of support built into her. Um, so let's just go over her kit real quick. So her Q is Sand Elemental. She basically just summons a Sand Elemental onto someone, um, onto a targeted enemy. And it'll chase them and do damage with auto little ranged auto attacks that will also slow them. So there's the stats on it if you want to see them real quick. Her W is Quick Pit, there's the stats on that. Basically, you create a sand pit in the area, which will pull people in slowly and deal damage over time. Uh, her E is Sandstorm, she basically just creates a sandstorm around herself that buffs her and her allies, giving them movement speed. Um, oh, attacks, yeah, 40 movement speed and 40% attack speed reduction, or attack damage reduction and 10% 10, 10 attack speed. Oh my gosh, I cannot even talk. Um, but yeah, that's just, Get a nice little support ability basically to help out your teammates when you're nearby them. Um, and then her ult is Eclipse, so she basically do it's a global Onward damage attack. slash heal. So she'll you can if you use it on an ally, it's gonna heal them. If it hits an enemy, it's gonna burst them for pretty good damage. Um, and it is global, you can use it anywhere, so it's a rather nice ability. So I'm going to be maxing out her W first. Uh, just because it seems to be the best damage dealer between her W and her Q. And I'm not going to go too much into items because I still don't fully have a grasp on Strife's item system. If the whole like customization and everything like that is just super weird and whatnot. So I'm still kind of messing around with it. I'll, I'll still like go over my build and everything. But in no way is it like a definitive way to play her or guide or anything like that. So this is kind of your typical attack rotation, I guess you could say, is you'll you'll drop down your W and your Q, um, and then just kind of follow up with auto attacks of your own and just deal damage like that. So I mean, we we did some pretty decent damage. He's already under half health, so not too bad. There we go. There's some good damage. We're doing pretty bad at last hitting though. I attack. Moving. Just keep harassing him like that. I don't really know what our, our Nikolai is doing. He's kind of just chilling back here. <laughs> so once we do get our ultimate, though, we want to be paying attention to all the lanes. Um, and seeing if maybe we can heal one of our allies if they're about to die. Or maybe pick someone off if they're running. Um, that's probably one of the nicest things about her is her ultimate. is just very good at picking people off or healing an ally real quickly if you need to. So I'm for my... Well, he's not doing anything, so we'll kind of try and help him out there. So for my starting items, I just took the Clarity Shard and the Power Shard. I don't know if that's actually a good start or not, but I like to have mana regen because that's pretty much the thing that I struggle with the most in this game is mana. I don't know if it's just how it's intended to be or what, but... I always seem to be running out of mana really quickly. So, took this, the the Clarity Shard. We're going to build it into the Rune Scepter. And then after that, I think I we're going to go ahead and build the Pyro Staff. Just because that's going to give us a little bit more burst. Which is always nice to have more damage. So, Traversing. I don't see why not. Striking out. This way. I oh my gosh, I'm doing awful with my last hitting. Enemy missing time. I Feel the sting of there, that's her E. I just realized I haven't used it yet, so. As long as anyone's within that radius, they'll be sped up and have more attack speed and movement speed and whatnot, so. Nice little defensive ability there. Experience my rage. I shall go. Oh. I attack. Oh, 
gosh. Well, he helped now. I don't know why he was just chilling back there for so long. He's behind on levels now, but... Oh, and I, I do have uh, Mystic for my pet just because he gives us a little bit more damage and whatnot with our harass and all that. I don't know if... I mean, you could probably take some other stuff too, like the Luster, I think is his name. That gives you more gold. That might be a good option too. But I feel like Mystic's always a the best option if you're playing a mage. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pick up our Runic Scepter now. And we do have our ult now, so we can be checking the the other lanes. Ooh, so see if she were to get away. Um, we could... Oh, shoot. I wasn't quite paying attention. You know, something that might be interesting to try would be um, attack damage, Aya, because she has a lot of slow. Um, she's pretty good at chasing people. She's got some, some nice, like, sticking abilities, so she could be pretty decent with that. I might try that sometime. I know... I think it was Vex. AD Vex is actually pretty good. Or at least it used to be. I haven't played in a while, so maybe they changed him to make that not the case. Oh, he dashed through. Oh, gosh, dang it. No, well, we still got the kill, so that was good. I shouldn't have stuck around for so long. It was my bad, anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead and work on our boots now, and we'll grab some potions. Okay, she's heading bot. So it looks like he's finally playing now. He's not just chilling in the back lines anymore. I don't know what he was doing earlier, but. <laughs> Striking out. The dunes battle on my behalf. Feel my power. Oh gosh. Not time for that yet. Oh, I need mana. Dang it, I don't want to use it now because he's. Oh, yeah, he's got too much health now. Dang it. Maybe walk into it? Walk into it. Oh, dang it. Oh, I think he's coming for us. Maybe not. Okay, good. See any of them low? Not quite. We'll pop our mana. Move like a shadow. So looks like they lane swapped out Ace for Harwer. I don't know why. I don't think they were doing too bad. harass them a little bit with our little elementals. They don't do too much damage right now. I think they do a little bit more. They do a little better once they're maxed out and whatnot. Oh, shoot. This way. 
We have no mana. We'll kind of linger around and let it regen for a bit. If they... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he walked into it. Oh shoot, but here comes Ace. Slow him. Keep him off me. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't think that ult was going to get him. He kind of panicked and walked back backwards into it. Ooh, we might... No. So we'll go back and pick up our boots now. We can do that. And get some potions. And run back mid. Missing middle. No idea where they went. We'll just kind of push a little bit. So that's one thing is she's very nice at pushing. Um, so maybe even you could take Plunder, I think is his name, the one that boof, boofs, buffs your minions, um, just because you can cast your Q on towers, so you can actually push down towers pretty quickly um, if they're distracted in another lane or something like that. And then she's also good at wave, she has good wave clear with her uh, W, so. Let's see, if they're not here, we'll, we'll go ahead and just cast our Q on that. So see, now we're pushing it down pretty hard. Striking we'll get out. those minions Enemy taking damage. Bottom. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, not enough. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Pyro Staff. So I'm using a modified Pyro Staff. It's just got all power instead of the Power Crystal and then the two Mana Crystals. So, and then I also have a range extending mod on it, I think, is what it was, or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, Markmanship. So it just has a increased cast range, which is nice. I don't know if they went. It looks like Ace is heading boss. We'll just push this down again. We should be able to take their tower now. Ace and Bastion are both over that way. I guess we should probably head over there and help. Let's see. Experience my rage. I must recover. Oh, maybe. Boom! There we go. There, we can at least get the slow off on Claudessa, but I don't think we can get to Ace. Nope, but it looks like she got away. We'll pop that and go back mid. So I think that was our, our second kill, so that's good. We're doing decent. Certainly not amazing, but not bad either. Just kind of stood in that, took a lot of damage from it. I'm okay with that. Feel my power. Oh, yes. Oh, shoot. Oh. There we go. Perfect. There we go. We should easily have it. There we go. Ooh, just enough for a double kill, too. Should have pushed this one down a little bit, too. Oh, crap. We have no mana, though, so we don't want to stay for too long. <laughs> yeah, that was a good time to back off. 
traversing. Good, he made it out. Let's see, they're good up there. It's good down there. So now we don't have quite enough for our full pyro staff. We're we're pretty close. We're about four thousand or four hundred off. So we'll we'll just head over to this camp right here and kind of take a couple jungle camps and see if that'll give us enough. And then we will have a nice little chunk of instant burst to go with our damage over time because Aya is a lot of damage over time, and then she's also kind of got her quick ult burst. Um, so it'll it'll just give us a little bit more quick damage basically. I always like getting Pyro Staff on pretty much every mage just because it's nice to have it. It's pretty much like a full extra damage spell. It does a lot of damage. 200 is the base and then it scales. I can't remember how it scales but it scales pretty decently. Uh, not quite. Oh gosh. That was awful. Oh, nice. I didn't realize his ult hurt whoever he landed on, too. <laughs> oh, so very nice. Get the triple, get the triple. Oh, not quite. He's probably going to die because of that, but... Well, maybe not. Nice. Oh, Claudessa, though. That Claudessa, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And there's the Pyro Staff. We'll rush up that way. I don't think we'll make it in time, but... We'll go up that way anyway. Well, we should probably head mid. Push those minions off of our tower. Maybe we can take advantage of them not being there and push down that tower some more too. We'll see. Like the tidal flood. Anyone low? Nope. Move like a shadow. Ooh, he's moving. Decently low. Striking out. I'll just keep harassing her if she's just gonna keep eating it. <laughs> There we go. We're getting some decent damage off on it. Doing some good damage to them too. So that's doing 408 damage over time now. That's pretty good. <laughs> they don't seem to really bother ignoring it either. They just kind of stand there and take it. So. Looks like they all left, so we should be able to take this tower, I would imagine. On my way. Onward I travel. I must recover. There we go. Now if we can get some mana, we can ult Harwer and get him off that tower at least. Looks like Bo's heading down that way too, so we'll kinda head down there. We should regenerate enough mana. Uh, to hopefully help him out. I shall go. Yep, oh, there's Harwer. Let's see how much does our Pyro staff do? Three hundred and twenty. I need to keep that in mind. I always forget I have it, and I always they always get away with nothing. And I could have Pyro staffed them, but I always forget to use it. So we'll try to remember that we have that. And I guess we should probably get started. Might as well. That's I like that item. It gives a nice movement speed boost to pretty much everyone. And since we already have a built-in movement speed boost and everything like that, it'd probably be a good idea to build that one as well, just to give us escape from people like Ace when they dive in on us. Oh gosh. 
Those two together would definitely destroy me. No! Plotessa, leave me alone. We definitely need some mana and some energy regen though, because we're running out pretty quick. I think Claudessa was heading up towards top. So we'll keep an eye up there, and if she pokes her face out, we'll ult. Looks like they got that tower. Nice. Pick up the mana crystal. How's she doing down there? Oh, not quite. I see the, the thing with her ult is it's very small, so it's hard to land accurately. Like, ugh, accurately. Get the slow off. Get the slow. Nice. We helped. That's all that matters. It looks like they're getting chased top, so we'll try and head up that way and help them out. And get that coming to us. Oh, dead. Traversing. They can probably see her. I'd imagine they hit that tower. I shall go. Yeah. Oh gosh, run! Ah, the bait. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Dang it, that was awful on my part, but we kind of helped, so I mean, there was that. <laughs> I figured he'd just keep running. I didn't know they had someone else in that bush. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the diadem next. Is that, yeah, I think that's how you say it. That should help. That'll give us some more mana. And they just, their Claudessa just left, so that's not good. Hopefully, she'll come back. Four versus fives are always annoying because it's not as help me out fun. Here. On my way. I have arisen. On my way. Help me out here. That's On my way. This relaxes is... me. It's like meditation. But I get to kill So we should be able to push down their middle generator, or whichever one we choose, I guess. Um, pretty quickly, I'd imagine, since they have someone missing. Looks like he doesn't quite care anymore. <laughs> I think he's given up. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Well played. Not time for that yet. Go ahead and just grab our mana back with our pet here. Feel my power. And oh, okay, good. Oh, his ult. Oh, Nikolai! Oh, he they're both tanking the turrets too much. Oh, yeah, he tanked it too long. Not quite sure why he went in that deep on the tower, but... <laughs> well, he's doing a little bit of damage to the... their base, so I mean, there's, there's that. We kind of wasted that. <laughs> We should have grouped up and pushed with it, but uh, we kind of, kind of didn't. Striking out. Move like a shadow. And I think that should, yep, give us enough. We should probably get uh, what's it called? It's like the arcane. 
Arcane Emblem, yeah, next. Moving. Be engulfed by shifting. There we go. Saved her. Woo! Feel my oh, but you're more than likely gonna die now if you're not careful. And then get the slow. Oh, yes, yes, come on. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Very nice, team. Hey, we have the highest gold per minute. I'm okay with that. We'll just go ahead and keep pushing this lane and try and get some damage off on that generator. Might as well, since we're up here. Harbor is distracted down there. Two of them are dead. Well, one of them now. Oh, there's Go Kong. I believe that's his name. Yes, okay. <laughs> some of the names I don't really remember. Of the newer people, anyway. We'll just finish off this camp real quick here. Oh gosh, no. Okay, good. We'll just head back and get our mana and everything recharged and all that good stuff. Um, pick up those. We'll just add this up here. 750, so we're almost there. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Dang, man, he does a lot of damage. This way. Yes! <laughs> we kind of stole it. I mean, they had it, but... I don't really care. As long as we can get some good ults in. That's all, all that matters. <laughs> Looks like they're Gokongs trying to push the top lane. We should be able to just end it if he doesn't come back. There we go. And that should probably be game. Well, it was a good game up until their Claudessa left, which always sucks, you know, but... So there was a game with Aya. She is very fun. She's kind of like a... I don't want to say she's a support, like, damage person, but she has a lot of support built into her kit while also having a lot of damage built into her kit. Um, so, yeah, she's she's got a lot of versatility, I'd say. She's very powerful, too. She's got a lot of uh, slow, so she's good at kind of controlling fights and stuff and keeping people off of people as well as healing um, her teammates when we need to, like we did with that Caprice when she was running. We kind of saved her by burst healing her and say her slowing uh, ace, I believe it was. Um, but yeah, she's very fun. We'll go ahead and click leave game and show the end credits or the end game screen. So I'll be right back. All right, so here we are at the post credits or post game screen. Um, so like I was saying, she's that's Aya. She's very fun, very powerful, very cool. Um, I do like her kit. I think she'll probably be one of my favorite mages to play right now. Zaku is probably my favorite, which I. Have not done anything on yet. I will do a video on him pretty soon because he is pretty dang fun. Um, he's got a pretty cool kit. I like him a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Aya. Oh yeah, she's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, we did eight kills, eight assists, and five deaths. Not too shabby. Um, yeah, so that was Aya in Strife. Uh, if you guys like Strife, go ahead and let me know because I'm not really sure how many people actually enjoy the Strife gameplay. Um, I've been kind of getting back into it with all these champions that they've been releasing and whatnot, and um, it does run a lot better now because it, it seemed it didn't run too well before on my computer. But um, so I might continue doing that if you guys enjoy it. Uh, but say, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and thumb up to let me know. Share it with your friends because the channel grows by your word of mouth. And I hope to see you in the next one. Stay frosty, bandits.